so hello everyone hope you're having a great time there uh, i know the times are pretty hard right now due to covid so i just assume you are doing safe and doing well and uh, please do maintain uh, social distancing wear masks and stay safe so i welcome you all to today's session uh, we'll, we are having a study jam with a uh, uh, speaker navneetan gopal and we'll be discussing on ag 900 today and uh, we will uh, start our session uh, in a, a little bit of time uh, let's uh, wait for audiences to hop in uh, so uh, we are uh, azure developer community and uh, with respect to the communities in tamil nadu uh, from chennai trichy and so on we are hosting this event uh, a special event to be in fact which is a study jam so uh, what uh, you might ask a question what's a study jam if you're, if you're very new to this one so study jam is like uh, is where we actually uh, try uh, help people to start with uh, uh, their certification journey so we'll be actually concentrating on different uh, certifications in our future episodes to start with the very basics and the first uh, certification we usually prefer so which is az 900 so which is azure fundamental certification and uh, how about our community so azure developer community is operating in over 100 cities currently and we have around more than 3500 members uh, available here and uh, this is actually powered by confer and it's also sponsored by microsoft azure and when rec- when it comes to tamil nadu we actually operate in 12 communities together uh, we are hosting this as a as an event together so which is from chennai madurai coimbatore erode dindigal salem tanjore thootukudi tiruchirappalli tirunelveli tirupur and velu so myself vivek i am actually hearing from madurai and i actually handle the cities of chennai madurai and uh, coimbatore we have uh, the speaker as well as he is organizer of other communities in tamil nadu as well so so actually as a community uh, we do several stuff so we conduct online meetups uh, every month so we arrange for maybe like two to three events every day every month and uh, when it comes to uh, a community a community is all about networking and sharing your expertise and gaining uh, new trends and other stuff so we have a very very wide range of uh, a network starting from very beginners uh, new persons to azure as well as with uh, regards to experts in different domains such as machine learning and other stuff and we also conduct study jams which is as of now what we are uh, having right now so study jam is like uh, we actually uh, encourage people and also help them in their certification journey and uh, we have other uh, sessions planned up in the future which is like uh, corporate and startup talk where we actually invite all the uh, uh, people from major corporate corporations or uh, founders of startup and architects of startup where they will be actually discussing about uh, how uh, they are uh, using azure in their uh, solutions and how it's benefiting them and their organization as well we are also planning a wide range of podcast and the podcast will like show uh, will be invited uh, where we invite uh, different speakers from uh, different ranges and backgrounds and we'll be actually discussing about their azure journey or their uh, anything that which they like to share with us and of course we do have fun in our communities through the contest so we actually conduct some weekly contests and also contest which is also available in uh, today's event as well so if you are uh, here uh, also make a note that we will be having a contest which can be held at any point of time during the event so stay tuned and by winning the contest you will be actually be able to uh, we will be actually able to uh, get uh, a certification voucher for microsoft azure so uh, i will again once again uh, welcome today's speaker namanitan gopal giving a talk on uh, uh, today's session which is azure uh, ac 900 azure fundamentals he has recently cleared this examination so it's always better to ask an expert how to and their journey how they uh, how they prepare for the examination and stuff so welcome namanitan hello all good evening uh hope you are all doing good uh so i have started sharing my screen are you able to see it uh one second uh i need to add yep uh go ahead your screen is now visible okay thank you uh 
thank you uh, so hope you are uh, all doing good and uh, uh, be stay safe and uh, thanks for your time and uh, stepping in to uh, know about this session and uh, joining in uh, thank you uh, so yeah myself namneetan and i have around uh, 13 years of experience i work in uh, ingram micro as a senior data scientist and uh, recently uh, in our uh, organization we started uh, using uh, cloud technologies and i thought of uh, giving a try on it and uh, this is my first such notification and uh, probably i spent some uh, i can say 20 to 25 hours on it and uh, i have cleared this exam so i'm going to speak about uh, uh, my experience and uh, the resources i have used and uh, also uh, what are all the references i have taken uh, so that i'm going to uh, speak and also uh, how the exam was and uh, uh, like a kind of questions so those things also i'm going to uh so yeah uh okay uh so first of all uh, why uh, we are uh, taking a is at 900 and also why it microsoft so it depends on person so for example uh, we have a different services pro service providers like uh, microsoft aws and google cloud so in our organization we use mostly uh, aws or azure for my requirement i started uh, with azure and uh, when i started azure uh, so for example my company we have a uh, different uh, teams uh, starting from networking team security team and uh, developers team and uh, our uh, data team data intelligence and uh, uh, data science team and uh, some other teams as well so for example uh, our networking team will uh, use some specific things and uh, developer will use something and uh, as a data team we will use some technologies but when we plan to move into cloud uh, so as this a is at 900 will give the foundation on everything so for example uh, if a it person is uh, jumping in so he has to take care of the security things and uh, creating a like virtual machines or a storage so those stuffs he has to take care so if developer is coming so from developer perspective in terms of apps or hosting or uh, testing platform so those things he has to take care as a data person uh, we have to take care of the sql server or uh, the ea things like uh, some if you are running some models so those things we have to take care so the a is at 900 giving the basic information uh, which is covering uh, all these areas so i'm going to uh, tell uh, the topics what what and all it's getting covered uh, so in that case uh, if i'm starting as at 900 i can get some familiarity on azure as well as the core cloud concepts so for example uh, what is the service model and uh, what is the deployment model so those things uh, i will get some clarity on it so uh, moving into the next slide yeah so this is the uh, wide range of uh, certifications available in azure so if you see it in this diagram uh, the uh, hot uh, the main part of it it is azure fundamentals so uh, which is a is at 900 and also uh, if you are uh, planning to uh, take some other certifications like uh, if you are uh, going uh, or making the career into developer side or networking side or data side uh, you can select the respective certifications and uh, this A is at 900 will give you uh, some foundation, so that's the reason I have uh, chosen this certificate. And also, uh, it uh, it uh, for example, as a, a data guy, I was not much familiar on networking or uh, security, but this certificate gave me the opportunity to learn more about uh, that networking or security things also. Uh, maybe in our college days, we used to study all those things, but uh, because of this exam, I am able to refresh everything. uh and also i would uh, uh, suggest you to spend good amount of time on each topic because we have different weightages so like uh, in the next slides i am going to talk we have around six topics so each topics having some weightage and uh, there will be some questions from security or networking uh, if we are preparing everything it will be easy for us okay so uh, in this session what we are going to see uh, what is the exam format and uh, the question types and pattern and uh, what is the road map i followed and uh, what are all the resources i have used uh, for preparing the exam and also after the exam what we can do so that's i'm going to cover in next uh, 30 to 40 minutes
and also uh, due to the time constraint uh, i will give uh, some topic with examples and also uh, we can have the interactive session uh, please stop me whenever you have some questions and i am happy to answer it so in terms of the exam format uh, so we will have 35 to 60 questions it vary on uh, the person so for example for me i got 42 questions and uh, the duration will be same 60 minutes and uh, the type of questions will be multi choice and response question so for example uh, they will give some following statement and uh, they will ask us to answer yes or no or true or false or we will have some drag and drop uh, so we have to match the correct thing or uh, we will have a fill in blanks with options uh, we have to select the respective one so this exam uh, contains 1000 marks out of that you have to score 700 to uh, clear the exam and uh, if you if you are uh, getting a, i mean less than 700 you, you can retake the exam uh, and uh, uh, that's about the exam format and uh, questions yeah so uh, these are all the uh, areas of focus like uh, in a az 900 uh, they are uh, taking care the, these six topics so the first one and uh, the fifth one having more weightage uh, that is on the core cloud concepts like uh, for example what is the deployment model or what is the service model and in azure uh, what are all the things how it is been handled and also uh, the identity and uh, governance and privacy also having more weightage other than that uh, we are going to see uh, the azure services core azure services and uh, what are all the core azure uh, solutions and tools we have and uh, the security and network uh, things how they are handling and what uh, services are there and also in terms of cost or the service level agreement sla how it is been uh, taken care and uh, the data privacy things also in the previous uh, category uh so here uh, i would uh, suggest to uh, take a free subscription from azure so which will help you to practice everything so for example uh, if you are seeing uh, uh, core cloud concepts so what is the services available in azure so you can explore there it will give you uh, more clarity so i'm going to show that as well so yeah the best part in microsoft az 900 or any microsoft certification uh, we have plenty of materials and also more from uh, microsoft itself so the one i followed it's a self faced one uh, so here uh, we have a portal called microsoft learn one minute yes so uh, this is the uh, microsoft learn portal uh here once you jump in uh, you can create your path like uh, what is your uh, plan and uh, learn uh, so for example uh, let me uh, uh, show you so here uh, i i'm choosing as a data scientist so if you are a devops or if you are a data analyst uh, the respective uh, thing you can select it so even a business owner or a data engineer they can so once you select it uh, it will ask some more questions whether you are a beginner or intermediate uh, so let me choose a beginner itself and also uh, which uh, products you are interested in so when i logged in uh, so my interest is uh, more on uh, server uh, so sql server and uh, yeah office 365 uh, it may not so uh, i chosen a sql server so based on this uh, it have uh, it will give me the suggestions so uh, like uh, once i logged in it will show uh, just uh, yeah so this is the uh, certification uh, thing uh, we are going to discuss so in this thing uh, you can uh, like uh, these are all the topics uh, we are going to cover and also uh, yeah here uh, two things as i mentioned uh, the self faced one uh, you can uh, choose this uh, learning path so based on the previous uh, selection uh, it have it have given me this thing so i am going to uh, take uh, one by one and also uh, if you are interested uh, you can go with uh, instructor led training also uh, where uh, you have to pay some amount and uh, you can take the exam from the uh, learner uh, sorry the trainer and also uh, this online thing itself very good and uh, i spent around uh, 8 to 10 hours on it uh, so once you complete it uh, you will have some case studies or you will have the 
questions so all those things will have so it will be good to start and uh, one thing i thought of showing yeah so the other source which i want to highlight it uh, the microsoft itself giving some virtual trainings so the good part is uh, it is happening on a calendar year the throughout the year it is happening so for example uh, if it is a fundamentals one uh, if i am registering it the benefit of this uh, virtual training you will get the free certification voucher from them so for example when you are attending this session so it is happening uh, uh, july so the same thing so what we are talking uh, uh, the fundamentals so like uh, we are going to see about the cloud concept azure services solutions and management and identity so these things we are going to see so when you attend this training you will get the voucher to uh, take the exam which is very good so i would uh, suggest uh, uh, the participants to give a try on this uh, it is very good uh, yeah okay so uh, before uh, uh, going into the six topics uh, let me uh, let me show the uh, portal as well like uh, microsoft is giving a uh, 12 months uh, free uh, services some of the services and also uh, some uh, credit so i guess around it's uh, uh, 200 dollars i guess so which you have to use within one month and uh, you have to give your credit card so uh, i have already created uh, certain resources and also uh, some services also so i will walk through on that so before that uh, so the hot i mean the major thing is uh, one minute yeah so before uh, jumping into the azure portal thing uh, let me give some uh, highlight on uh, what is cloud computing and uh, what is the deployment models are there uh, so uh, first i will talk about uh, the available service models so uh, like uh, as you are aware uh, like uh, most of the companies or the traditional companies uh, use uh, traditional on premise so which is uh, we will have everything inside our team itself like we have networks and our storages servers and also os and uh, data applications so everything is handled by us like we have a different teams and uh, we will handle it so uh, to give a better understanding in the left hand side i have given a example based on restaurant so in a traditional way what we used to do uh, we will prepare everything so for example we will prepare food and uh, we will arrange the oven or uh, to heat the dishes drinks and dining table i mean everything so which we can compare it to the traditional on premise thing and later uh, so for example nowadays uh, lots of food serving apps or other things and all came like zomato swiggy and all so in that case so they will uh, take care of uh, the food like uh, they will deliver the pizza or the toppings and all probably we will heat it or uh, or uh, we will uh, buy some drinks outside and uh, we will eat it so that we can compare it to uh, ias which is infrastructure as a service so where the service provider like aws or microsoft or gcp they will take care of networking and uh, storage and servers and all uh, we just need to take care of the os and uh, the connecting middlewares and data and application so uh, the reason i'm uh, stressing more on this thing we may get more questions on this topic so for example uh, they will give you some case study so for example in your company uh, you are uh, using uh, uh, your internal server and all and uh, your uh, manager wants to uh, move the data to sql server so microsoft sql server uh, sorry as of now it is in your on premise sql server they want to move to azure sql server so in that case which category it will come whether it is ias or pass also uh, you are using some uh, data or office 365 so like that they will give some examples and they will ask you to uh, identify the type of model whether it is pass or sas so the next thing is pass so in pass what we will do so even uh, the it is completely like uh, they will prepare the food and uh, they will give it uh, hot also uh, we just need to uh, uh, eat or uh, we need to uh, arrange the drinks so 
uh, which is pass they will take care uh, the previous ias with os and middleware so for example if you are maintaining that uh, every month uh, not every month every upgrade we need to do the upgrades and all like os or middleware thing any software upgrades we have to do but if that also we don't need to take care we can give that to the vendor they will manage we just need to focus on the data and applications uh, and also the final model is saas so which is everything taken care by the service provider itself uh, so the typical example is our office 365 or dynamics 365 or the good examples of software as a service so we don't need to bother anything uh, just we can uh, in the browser we can log in and uh, we can use the business applications okay uh, so any questions so far okay thank you i'm moving on uh, so the next thing uh, which is uh, the deployment models so uh, we have a uh, three types of uh, deployment models private public and hybrid so hybrid is uh, a combination of private and public so as i mentioned uh, the service provider like aws microsoft and uh, gcp google cloud uh, which is a public cloud and uh, the private cloud uh, we have our on premise server and other uh, data things so that will come in private in some cases uh, for example uh, we can use our uh, server and all uh, from our end and uh, we are using some networking protocols or something from the public cloud so that will come as a hybrid cloud so we may have some questions on this as well so they will give some examples like uh, uh my microsoft virtual machines and uh, some internal server so which uh, deployment model it will be so we may get uh, some two three questions on this category as well okay uh, any questions so far okay thank you uh, so the next one is uh, i want to give a highlight on the azure account so we can create azure account based on our personal id or some microsoft account so once we create it uh, we can have the subscriptions so like uh, as of now uh, in my login i can uh, i have the pr free trial subscription so in that way we can have multiple subscriptions so which will be useful for uh, for example hr team one subscription and uh, finance team one subscription so in that way you can manage it and uh, the next uh, level is resource group so uh, resource group it's a, a logical container of the subscription uh, so that also will help you to allocate something so for example uh, if you want to allocate sql server this much space and also uh, if uh, uh, ips i need to allow two ips or three ips or if i am hosting some application this number of applications so those things you can uh, control it and uh, there you can add the respective tags and all so uh, these things and all we are going to see in the topics and uh, the final thing is the resources so each resource group we can have n number of resources so for example uh, i am hosting sql in one resource group and virtual machine in one sql one resource group or uh, like a combination of resources into one resource group so if i am assigning some access level and all so the respective resources also inherit from there so for example if i am giving only view access or some access it will be taken care and uh, the whole thing uh, are taken care by the uh, active directory so uh, we have the windows active directory uh, similar way we have azure active directory also so there uh, you can do things okay uh, yeah so uh, the next part is uh, what are all the services available in azure so as we mentioned earlier uh, different teams wants to use the complete uh, cloud services so uh, as i mentioned uh, compute where uh, you are uh, it's taking care of your server or uh, for example windows or linux so those things uh, been taken care uh, probably uh, i will walk through in the portal itself so uh, when you uh, open the azure portal uh, it has the more clarity on it so for example uh, if i'm going into compute so what are all the services uh, from azure uh, like virtual machines uh, the most used services are may get more questions app services or uh, functions app so these are all the uh, major services and uh, once you click on uh, the virtual machines uh, you can uh, set up 
the things uh, just one minute probably i have deleted it okay so uh, these are all the different services uh, i have created uh, so as per the previous slide like uh, uh, which resource group it is uh, belongs to so we may get uh, questions like uh, how many subscriptions you can have per login and how many resource group you can have it so like uh, is it possible to create more than one resource group so like that the questions may come okay uh, so let me go to yeah so uh, these are all the different services for compute uh, thing and uh, in networking uh, yeah networking uh, plays a major role uh, here so there are different uh, most used services are virtual networks or load balancer and uh, yeah this ddos protection plans and also public ip addresses so these are all the uh, different uh, services are used uh, in uh, azure and uh, yeah the next thing is uh, storage so in terms of storage uh, the majorly uh, for storing data like uh, data lake or uh, blob so these are all the services are been used mo mostly and uh, in terms of web uh, we have uh, these different services so probably uh, uh, when you log in or creating the login you can check these things uh, you can go through it uh, probably uh, due to the time constraint i will not uh, go through all the services probably uh, i will show some major things so in terms of databases so like uh, uh, if you want to use no sql we can use azure cosmos db uh, where we can store any format uh, like uh, if you are using our uh, t sql traditional sql uh, we can use the sql database other than that uh, if you are using like php or uh, other website thing you can use mysql so we have different uh, uh, services are there like uh, uh, based on your requirement you can set the respective databases and also uh, in terms of uh, uh, machine learning also uh, we have some cognitive services and machine learnings uh, so pre-trained models itself available uh, uh, the the best part of it so for example as a developer you have created some application so in it uh, you want some uh, for example machine has to do something so some insights or uh, some intelligence so in that case uh, you can just create account in uh, this uh, a or uh, this thing maybe you can create some cognitive service or machine learning you can just connect your data and uh, it will do the uh, data part i mean the model part and uh, it will give the output you can uh, display that in the uh, your application which is very good and uh, on the recent days we are seeing more uh, hike on the iot stuff like uh, tracking everything so that also we have the iot hub so if you want to track uh, each and everything uh, in terms of uh, the sensors data or uh, uh, the tracking movements and all uh, you can use these services and uh, we may get uh, questions on these uh, different things also so for example uh, if you want to handle uh, different uh, services like iot thing uh, which service you will use it in azure for machine learning uh, which thing you will use it so this kind of questions also come okay and uh, finally uh, i will uh, jump into the uh, security part so in security part uh, uh, like uh, as of now uh, we are into lots of security threats and all so when we are moving into cloud uh, microsoft is taking care things completely so if you are moving into uh, azure services uh, there they are taking care of everything and also if you are getting some threats and all uh, we can set up some alerts and uh, it will come to us also uh, they are providing the option on uh, like a uh, uh, one time password or uh, the uh, those stuff like uh, yeah one minute yeah so uh, there you can uh, set up your uh, 
thing and also you can connect your azure ad's or if you are already using the windows ad uh, you can connect that also in some cases it is giving the flexibility to take care of your on premise security also so these are all the different services from azure and also uh, like recent days uh, devops having merge i mean uh, emerge on it so uh, if you want to use some devops things also you can and uh, earlier days like uh, the team has to create a different version and uh, for example they have to set up a different uh, machines for testing and all so if you are using dev test labs uh, it will be taken care and also uh, once your product is live you can uh, delete the services and you don't need to pay so these are all the some good parts on using uh, the cloud services and finally uh, the monitor so uh, monitor will help you to uh, check everything so for example how your services are performing uh, so in that uh, you just need to select your uh, resources so for example i'm so i want to see for uh, the azure uh, sql database uh, my sql database uh, so in this case uh, what is the status one minute so when you are doing it uh, you can see the uh, how the service is performing and all those things you can uh, check so uh, we used to get a uh, questions on this also uh, so which service you will use to track uh, the i mean uh, monitor the services so these are all the different areas and finally uh, i just need to show on the cost management also so uh, like uh, here uh, azure is giving option to create a dashboard so for example uh, you can uh, uh, create a dashboard based on your requirement so for example what are all the resources you are using how many resource groups are there and uh, if you want to see uh, the health of each services like if any problem is occurring so as of now no service issues so uh, anyone can like uh, we can create uh, this dashboard and uh, add whatever the services we want and uh, we can track it and uh, in terms of cost also we can do so when we are doing uh, uh, on premise thing which is capex so uh, in capex we need to procure the server and other stuff and uh, we have to spend the amount earlier and also we don't know how much uh, service we are going to use in the future but when we are using cloud uh, the benefit is upfront we can track uh, our uh, cost also like for example uh, i am going to use 10 servers and uh, this many users uh, and uh, this many licenses so when you are uh, telling it it will give you some uh, estimation on the cost as well which is very good and also uh, which will come as a apex model uh, just one minute and also uh, it will give me the forecast as well so for example uh, uh, in my account uh, so actual cost so far it is around 1200 and uh, i may get another 1500 so where i can uh, forecast our uh, amount also like how much i should spend and also uh, as uh, mentioned earlier we can create different resource group and uh, everything so there uh, for example finance team how much they used uh, HR team how much they used and what services they have used it's like uh, whether they used a storage or virtual machine or key vault so all those things we can get uh, get here and uh, the another part uh, which I need to touch upon the locations so uh, the important or the uh, the major advantages of using cloud uh, we can select the respective locations uh, so azure is uh, providing different locations so for example if uh, our clients more from us region uh, we can select the location from us region or if it is from uh, EMEA or some other region respective locations we can choose and also uh, the data availability also uh, we have some available zones and all so that also we can choose it's like uh, if our uh, data center is getting affected or any problem in it how it is being taken care so that also we can and uh, uh, all the uh, usage cost uh, we will get uh, monthly invoices 
and uh, if you are uh, paying up front i mean if you are allocating resources i mean which is reserve reservations uh, you will get uh, some cost saving on that as well okay so these are all about the services now let me uh, jump into the material which i mentioned earlier the learning path so here we will see the services and uh, some case studies over here and uh, we will finish it off and uh, uh, i would suggest you to play around with the azure portal as well as the uh, learning path so when for example when i am checking the learning path itself if i am getting uh, check like uh, for example uh, let me give you an example so for example okay maybe in azure fundamentals i will have so for example uh, decide when to use azure app services so uh, for example if i need to use a web app or api app so what are all the types and uh, so each thing so in that case itself what you can do uh, you can go to uh, the services and uh, here itself you can see uh, i mean you can explore uh, what is uh, that so so that uh, uh, you will get more clarity on it so for example virtual machines or app services so if i need to use app services when you click on it uh, so for example i have created uh, something so when you click on it uh, you will have the settings so here uh, it is uh, status is running and i have select and, uh, selected uh, the location south central us and uh, these details and uh, when i'm clicking on this i can uh, check and also you can configure it and uh, you can track how much usage and all so if you are uh, seeing this thing while seeing the learning path uh, you will uh, in the exam it will be easy for you to answer okay and uh, yeah another few things i need to show one minute yeah i have come. yeah so the best part is uh, each and every uh, end of the session uh, you will have uh, uh, examples so for example uh, you can check your knowledge also uh, so which will be helpful in while taking your exam uh, so each and every sections uh, we will have uh, session like i mean questions like this or uh, we will have uh, some case studies also so for example i will uh, show that as well Yeah. So, for example, uh, we will have a case study like this. So, uh, your company uh, is planned to do some uh, IoT thing. So, what is the Azure IoT services you will uh, suggest? Uh, and uh, the best part is, uh, if you are uh, seeing this uh, uh, case studies, it will be helpful in the real time scenario also so maybe in future if uh, some of your client is coming uh, so they want to track the sensor data so you have already explored this iot hub in services so like uh, let me go to the portal uh, vivek i will complete by uh, another five minutes so here uh, if you see uh, iot thing here you will see iot hub so here uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, prepare it like uh, you can create a hub and uh, you can uh, just connect the data and uh, see and also you can visualize it also so some cases like uh, yeah uh, you may need uh, you may not to create a license or anything they are giving another one option which is sandbox so when you are taking this learn session so for example this is one example uh, to create a password for uh, azure in azure key vault uh, unfortunately it got sign out but uh, here uh, you can activate some sandboxes so uh, you don't need to pay anything but you can get hands on on the services and uh, in this microsoft learn itself uh, they will allow uh, allow us to create around 10 sandboxes on some different uh, things so these are all the uh, different services and uh, the path i have followed and uh, one another important thing uh, which i need to tell 
yeah uh, there are few other things so uh, which is like uh, if you are getting some problem like uh, when you are using the services uh, so it got failed or if any problem so how it will be taken care so that is been in uh, sla's so for example uh, mostly most of the services 99.9 percentage i guess or 99.5 percentage they will give us the services thing if they are uh, failing to do it they will give us the service cred credit mostly that will not happen but uh, uh, for that you can uh, read the slas also and uh, the other things which we already discussed how the services health and all those things are here okay uh, so we have covered these services yeah uh, other than that the final thing uh, uh, the other sources which i have used it uh, so we have some youtube channels also and uh, one linkedin learning so in uh, youtube uh, we have two youtube channels one is azure for everyone from adam so which is very good uh, they are covering the entire thing and uh, the other one is guide to cloud uh, shushant so these two uh, channels also i have used it and uh, uh, i have uh, uh, it it was very helpful and also uh, i have taken one linkedin learning course also which is azure fundamentals by sharon so that is also very helpful on top of it uh, we have some audio books also uh, that also you can use it uh, like uh, that is like uh, if you are spending some 30 days some 10 to 15 minutes you can uh, get familiar with azure so that is like uh, uh, those links we will share it uh, after the session yeah and uh, the final thing uh, yes so when you are uh, doing the certification first of all you will get a good confident and also uh, you you will uh, be better in uh, jobs or uh, you will be stand out uh, uh, so in that case i would suggest everyone to give a try on the certification and also we have free certification itself available like if you are taking virtual training days or after this session we will have a quiz if you are winning it we will uh, be giving the vouchers probably i would uh, suggest people to uh, utilize it yeah uh, that's all from my end uh, i'm open to questions thank you all uh, hi navneet uh, that was an amazing session so we have a bunch of questions which is available so i will post it on the screen uh, we can answer it as well yeah, one, uh, one minute uh, yeah yes vivek yeah okay uh, so we will start with uh, a question from vasudev sharma so he is asking whether if az 900 is exam is a paid one or a free yes yes vasudev the exam is paid one uh, but uh, the good part is uh, as i mentioned if you are attending virtual training days you will get the free voucher i guess it's 99 dollar usd uh, so if you are attending virtual training days they will give a free voucher and also uh, in our session also we are going to some vouchers so you can use it and uh, for students uh, they have some financial aid like uh, with less cost you can do it and okay. to answer your question it is paid okay perfect uh, i hope that answers your question so uh, we uh, will the resource detail share to the participants yes, yes. Uh, yes. so we yep uh actually we created one github and uh, we will share it with the participants and also uh, you are uh, feel free to reach out to me like uh, uh, in my linkedin or uh, uh, i'm open to uh, uh, answer your questions after the session also and uh, the github link is also available in the uh, chat comment uh, we can also try to have a look at it uh so we have all the details yep. which is covered in this uh, current uh, uh, i will be updating uh, uh, the links also as of now it will have four or five links i will add the other things also whatever i have okay uh, uh so how different is azure with respect to aws and if i study as a yes. 900 and also uh, i think i can answer this question so because i have both experience on that so when it comes to your question uh as 900 deals with uh, basics of cloud computing as well as the overview of all the services in ADA, uh, in azure uh, when it comes to aws cloud practitioner i guess the same applies there so i guess like there is a very much similarity in the examination but uh, only thing is you have to have a good overview of each services in their respective cloud provider 
and if you actually study the exact counterparts for the same in azure and uh, you'll be able to study that within a couple of hours because uh, you're much more able to relate to the concepts we are, which you are already aware of so uh, cloud practitioner and azure engineer are both similar exams but when when you try to take uh, other specialty exams uh, i guess you have to specifically jump into each service and study for azure and only then you'll be able to much more get the familiarity and clear the certification for that so uh, i guess uh, hope uh, nirmal uh, i guess this answers your question so we have uh, one more question from kadir vel uh, so he is mentioning he is a system, system administrator administrator. i guess like there is a broken question okay uh, maybe uh, uh, like uh, probably you are a system administrator how this exam will be helpful for you uh, in that context if i'm taking uh, yeah so uh, for example if you are uh, using your on premise servers and uh, you may plan to uh, move it to cloud uh, so by doing this certification how you can uh, do it in cloud or azure or aws so this will be uh, helpful for you and also we have az uh, 900 deals with the fundamentals whereas az uh, 104 is certification is exclusively devoted to the azure administrator yes so if you are willing to work on that part uh, free feel to check out the uh, certification of az 104 and uh, if there are more requests to cover uh, the topics and the examination related parts for that we can also plan for a future session where we'll have a study jam for az 104 as well so uh coming to the next question uh, which service is mostly used in the industry uh, i guess it's very a uh, general question but uh, navneet can you make it uh, rephrase it to answer uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, so to start uh, depends on the requirement uh, so for example anyone wants to uh, use virtual machines so in that case uh, creating virtual machines uh, which is ias infrastructure as a service uh, services are using more and also uh, when you are doing that the security uh, like uh, uh, the firewalls so those things and all taken care so most of the time uh, like uh, if you are uh, seeing our uh, uh, the companies uh, more people will be use ias uh, then uh, the next level if you are going to pass less members will be used so whatever the services covered in ias are been used mostly in the industry okay perfect uh, so we'll go to the next question uh, uh, please speak. actually th this recorded session yeah. will be also available in the youtube so you are, you are free to come and check it out any time uh, this video will be always available in this channel and also we will update the link in the github as well so that you can refer to the exact uh, session what we have delivered so far so we have one more question uh, so can you share some sample questions for this is it 900 yeah definitely like uh, as i mentioned in the learning session itself uh, some of the questions are there and uh, probably uh, i will if whatever i remember i will try to phrase it and uh, send it i will keep it in the github link after the session okay uh, perfect uh, so can sandbox be activated only through ms learn modules uh, i guess yes uh, to be frank i am not uh, uh, sure about it but i i don't see any other options to activate sandbox outside learn module uh, probably i will check this after the session and uh, i will update you probably i will uh, post that question answer also in github link uh i i think i can confirm that uh, sandboxes are available in ms learn module uh yeah. you can always uh, check for that but if you do really want to uh, have a full hands on on azure portal so you are very much free to uh, sign up for the free uh, trial so you will get 200 dollars of uh, worth of credits to experiment with azure uh, portal and also instead of sandbox you can opt for that as well uh so one more thing uh So suppose if I want to set my path as a data scientist, will AZ nine hundred help? Uh, I guess I can take this question. Uh, yep. Myself, I I have uh, cleared the uh, a DP hundred, which is uh, Microsoft Azure certified data scientist. So I would say uh, AZ nine hundred gives you an overview of all the respective uh, uh, services which is available, but it is not necessary or a prerequisite 
for the data scientist uh, certification. For DP100, you can straight away uh, take with uh, DP100. Uh, and for uh, for that, actually, we got a couple of requests to do uh, study jam for DP100. Uh, we will plan for a uh, session very soon. And hopefully, that will help you to get your certification on that. Uh, so we have one more question from Suman, and he's asking how much time should he devote for AZ 900 examination? Uh, maybe uh, 10 to 15 hours. Uh, that depends on uh, uh, like uh, taking notes and all. Uh, but uh, I suggest uh, uh, earlier we were having only four sections and uh, the same sections only, but uh, the questions are uh, tricky. So the answers, if you see, it will look similar. So it's better to prepare or spend good amount of time in the preparation itself okay perfect uh, so uh, i guess like we can uh, uh, we have much more uh, we don't have much more questions so it's now time to jump to the quiz contest we have we were talking about uh, so what you have to do is go to this uh, slido and uh, we will be actually i will share the uh, my screen so that you will be able to uh, able to see so go to slide uh, sli.devo and we will actually start with the quiz contest here uh, so hope you are all ready for the quiz so what you have to do is go to slido.com and uh, enter the hashtag so which is uh, 824891 so go to the slido.com it will ask for an uh, hashtag so which is actually you will be able to join 824 uh, 891 so you'll be actually able to join the uh, the slido uh, the quiz contest so uh, for helping us out to reach out to the winners uh, make sure you keep your uh, email id as your uh, username or uh, or else try to have a ping to us uh, once the event is done so once you enter, try to uh, give a name for yourself and uh, try to join in. And winners will be reached out here. So we have already have six participants coming up. Uh, we have eight. Uh, we have much more users joining in, 12. So uh, if you have your email address, it'd be much more easier for us to reach out if you're a winner. Uh, if you're already given your name, it's not an issue. Uh, we will still reach out to you, no issues. Uh, and also we will share your contact details so that you'll be able to do that. So I hope you're able to join in. For people who have just uh, pinged or not able to do this, go to slido.com, sli.devo. And once you reach that, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be asked for a, a hashtag, the event ID, which is 824891. Join in and we will uh, start with the quiz contest. So we will wait till we reach 25 people and we will get started if we are uh, hoping for it. Let's. Okay, uh, so how this uh, will perform, uh, how this uh, slido works is that there'll be a question on the screen and there'll be options available in your uh, uh, mobile app. So if you actually signed in through your mobile or in your another tab, you will actually receive the options for the questions. And the person who is giving the answer in the fastest of the time and the correct answers will be uh, made to the leaderboard. So it is actually depends on two factors. You should answer the question correctly as well as faster than others. I'm also very much aware that uh, the there is a stream delay which is happening, which is around 10 seconds from the what I'm displaying in my uh, original computer to the stream which is happening. So don't worry, everyone is experiencing the same delay and there is no uh, bias happening here. So uh, you will have comfortably, you'll have 20 or 30 seconds to answer the question. So feel free that for that. So I guess we can start with the quiz right now. I hope you are all ready. Uh, keep your fingers uh, ready and uh, have a question. Uh, look, look at the question in the screen and try to answer the uh, answer your question. So let's start. So. We have 30 seconds. The question is, what type of cloud is Microsoft Azure? So is it a private cloud or public cloud or a hybrid cloud? Try to answer the options which is available in the uh, app or uh, the screen where you're getting it. So 
so we are running down to 5 seconds 4 3 2 and 1 so the question is done so we got 50% of people saying that it's a public cloud and 50% of the people are saying it's a hybrid cloud let's see what's the correct answer the correct answer is obviously it's a public cloud microsoft azure falls under public cloud services so uh people have got 50% right so if you are not answered don't worry don't worry what that you can get it right in the next questions we have nine more questions left so the next question is what is the full form of p a a a s so i guess uh, if you are listen to this today's session you might have heard it a couple of times so whether it is a platform as a stack platform as a shack platform as a software or platform as a service so try to answer it uh, quickly in your mobile app or your tab and so the question is done so let's see how many answers we got so which is quite really awesome because everyone opted for the same answer and that's right so all the people congrats to you you have got everyone has got the correct questions so which means you have to be very much careful on the few such questions as well so Awesome, everyone. I guess like you have paid a very good attention to the session. So next, go to the next question. Name the fully managed NoSQL database in Azure. So is it called Cosmos DB or DynamoDB or Oracle NoSQL or ActiveDB? We have also had this uh, discussion in today's session, and also it's pretty easy to guess if, even if you're not aware of it. So we got six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm curious about how the answers have come up. Oh, great. Okay, so we got eighty-eight percent of people opting for Cosmos DB. So is it the right answer? Obviously, yes. So that's right. So let's jump to the next question. So, what service is used for identity access management in Azure? So is it called Active Directory or DevOps? or resource management or identity locker i guess like you can rule out two other options it's pretty much obvious but is it uh the one you are really thinking for so is it active directory or devops or resource management or identity locker so it's done let's see how many people have answered this one question so 73 people have opted for active directory and it's the right answer yep so congrats we have more than 50% answering in the right terms so we got so next go to the next question what is a logical container for the resources which is created in azure uh we also talked about it a little bit in this session i, I guess if you had a paid a, a close attention you might see so is it a tenant or a subscription or a resource group or a container registry So, what is a a logical container for the resources created in Azure? So, we have two keywords present in the questions, which is also available answers. So, let's see. So, people have opted for Azure Resource Group. So, fifty-eight percent, and that's the right. That's the right question. So, at the end of five questions, let's see the leaderboard. So Suman has got five out of five question and he has taken thirty one seconds. He is in he is the topper and we have Arvind who is going with the second. First four places are topping with five out of five, which is really amazing and only you are differing on seconds. So try to answer it as much as fast as possible. And uh, Anup has got four questions right. It's still uh, we have uh, I guess more people would have given the same. So try to answer the correct questions very fast so you might also jump into the top five. leaderboard so shall we proceed with the next question i hope so so is it possible to move resources from one subscription to another under same tenant so i guess like it's a pretty much easy question i would say if you have a a fair idea or like you can make a pretty simple guess so it's an yes or no question so either if you or maybe it can happen or it cannot happen so it's yes no or maybe Can you really move your resources from one subscription to another under same directory? Is it yes or no? So time's up. So we have got eighty-four people opting for yes, 
and that's the right answer you can definitely move your resources from one subscription to another and under only then if you are if it is under the same directory so that's well and good uh, don't worry people catch up on try to get the top questions so next question is cloud computing service that offers compute storage and networking resources so what what type of uh, resources does compute storage and network belongs to is it infrastructure or platform or software i guess you can make a pretty good uh, easy analysis for that so what type of compute storage and networking resources falls under so questions up we got 64 people opting for ias which is infrastructure as a service and uh, we got uh, 28% of people opting for platform as a service so obviously if we can understand its infrastructure because it's providing as an infrastructure for us to do the compute store our data and also network through the same so it's infrastructure as a service so 25 people have answered it and we got 64 percentage of people got it right so the next question azure functions comes under what type of service uh so is it infrastructure as a service platform as a service uh service a software as a service or function as a service so i might also give a little clue don't get deceived by the question uh it might not be the correct answer what you are guessing for and if you closely think i guess we have also discussed about azure functions today so 2 1 what's the correct answer so we got 54 people opting for platform as a service is it right awesome that's the right answer so congrats to those 54% and let's see at the end of eight questions suman is still on the top and uh, he has got a uh, uh, seven out of eight questions right he has taken 56 seconds and i guess all the five top people have only got seven questions of eight and it's only the time which breaks the tie breaker here so pretty good awesome i really ex never expected that we got majority of correct answers in most of the questions so keep up so don't let the next two questions uh, get it right and finish strong so what service helps me deploy app web apps in azure like, i guess like you can try to answer it very quickly as possible so what type what service actually helps me to deploy app service web apps in azure is it active directory or web app service storage account or beanstalk obviously i can give a slight clue it's not beanstalk because it's aws i so what can be the correct answer of the first key so it's obviously it's web app service that's the correct answer and active directory is used for user management it does not fall under uh, this one so congrats to the 91% of the people who got it right so this is the last question get it so what service provides pre trained machine learning model apis we have also discussed about it it's very much easy i guess try to finish it as quickly as possible so is it cognitive services kubernetes container or content delivery so what can it be you got 10 seconds left uh guys this is the last question try to finish it as quickly as possible we got 4 3 2 1 awesome so it's end of the quiz and cognitive services is correct uh container registry is used for deploying containers and kubernetes is for same and cognitive services has all the machine learning apis we require to actually do that so this is right and uh, let's see let's are you really curious to see who's the top five winners i am very much very much curious so let's see so we got suman as a winner here who got nine questions right and big congrats to all the all the people because you all got nine questions right out of 10 and only the seconds have a break uh, broke the tie so suman uh, congrats to you and also congrats to arvin uh, and i'm not sure about the third person's name and uh, heavy and anup d so uh, i'm not i didn't get the email addresses of the number 4 and 
uh please do ping me back uh at uh after this session try to uh contact us in the meetup page or to my uh email address claiming that you are uh uh the person i will also verify from my side so uh you can try to ping me on email address which i dropped in the chat or you can uh, also ping me in the meetup page or anywhere where we can reach out to you either you can reach out to vivek raja or navanithan and we will take care of your prices so what the winners will be getting is that uh, you guys five people will get free microsoft vouchers uh so awesome guys uh, you made it through and you can use the certification to schedule your first examination for free of cost and if you're opting for az 900 and i hope this session will also will help you to do clear this exam and to join us community and we will also help you to secure your certification and uh, rest of around 25 people have participated in the quiz so please don't be uh, disheartened if you're not made it to the top 5 you still have a chance to secure your free voucher by attending training days and also our contest which will be uh, regularly conducting so stay tuned and we'll be also uh, try to have that in our future sessions so i guess the hardest question we had so far is what is what type of cloud is microsoft azure so we got 50% and after that i guess like all the questions were more than 50% right so that's well and good so thank you uh, thank you everyone and uh, we are done for today uh, i hope so uh, hope everyone is doing pretty well so uh, uh, thanks everyone for staying up behind and uh, i request the fourth and fifth person to uh, bring us and when it comes to suman has been question asking a question how long the voucher will be valid so actually voucher will be valid enough to uh, for you to prepare and take the exam uh, actually it will be uh, sanctioned by microsoft and it will also have a expiry date along with that so don't worry you will get enough time to uh, get the voucher and schedule your exam prepare for it and right so alex uh, alex you have mentioned your email address uh, so uh, don't worry we got you uh, so i will reach out to you so uh, uh, congrats alex so uh, i'm not sure about the fifth person so uh, also like try to ping me through any other means even, even in the chat or through my email address so we will get you guys done and thank you for today's session and we will conclude and see you soon for our next uh, uh, session which is on 29th we'll be actually discussing on how to deploy containers uh with this one uh so thanks everyone uh for any other questions you can try to ping me back in in my uh, email address vivekraja at uh, gmail.com or you can try to go to the meetup page of uh, chennai do drop a comment there and i will reach out to you personally thank you everyone uh, stay safe and uh, uh, also we got the fifth person i will actually uh, actually i will make sure i will verify it and i will come back to you again So uh thanks everyone and uh, stay safe and take care. Thank you all. Bye.